Today we're talking Lumion and I'm going to share you how to make fast, great quality exterior images using Lumion presets. So we have already imported our 3D model into Lumion and I have applied all the textures. Uh, they are all from Lumion library. So we need to choose our camera angle. So to do that, we go to photos and uh, I'm using uh, focal length for exterior images anywhere between 23 and 27. So let's adjust that. And uh, I would like to use a corner uh, view. So maybe from this side. And uh, our eye level should be at around 1.8 meters because the normal eye level would be at around 1.6 but because our model is uh, a little bit slightly higher than the zero elevation so we are lifting our eye level at around 1.82 meters so let's adjust our angle and uh, I think something like this would be nice Let's set for our camera angle and let's build our background. So let's go to nature, to find detailed trees and uh, I'm pressing V on my keyboard uh, because that uh, gives me different kind of scale trees so I don't need to scale them uh, manually. And just scatter the trees uh, around. Let's uh, take a different one and do the same with this one and let's check what we have that looks pretty okay we need to fill this gap here so for that I'm gonna use different kind of tree I like to use this one a little bit smaller and let's fill this gap and I do like to use uh, birch trees because they are very thick and uh, it's very good to cover some ground so let's check what we have and we have our gap filled in uh, we have a gap here uh, I'm going to place a building here and I'm going to use uh, some of my recent projects and I think uh, this one should work we need to adjust the rotation a bit more. I think that should work Let's place somewhere here. That is good. And let's place some trees next to that building as well. These birch ones looks really nice. Let's place one a little bit bigger and one a little bit smaller. Let's check it out. That looks great. So we can, we can place some trees uh, over here as well. I'm going to use this one, a little bit smaller. By pressing L on a keyboard, you can adjust the scale of the objects. So let's place one here and uh, one bigger one down here. Let's place one in the middle here and one here on the end. Let's check it out. That looks pretty good. We can we can adjust this this one a little bit. Let's move it here and let's make it smaller a little bit and we need to bring this one down here. And we can we can make it smaller a little bit so we can 
see it better in our shot. That looks great. So now we can add some plants. Let's go to plants. I like to use this one. Let's make it a little bit bigger. And it's very important to scale differently your vegetation because it's very important to have uh, imperfections in your images because they add a lot of realism to your renderings. So let's add some trees here. That looks good. We can add some flowers. I like to use these white ones and just just gather them around something like this. A few here. More here maybe. Let's check what we have. And it looks pretty nice. We can add we can add few vehicles. Let's go to transport. Uh, we'll add this Jeep here. Right here. Maybe maybe one here as well. And I think I think that's that's good enough. Well, maybe another one here. Sad Mercedes. So let's select all of them, and uh, we don't want to show our drivers, and we need to add a metallic paint. That should be okay now. Let's check it out. That looks great. Uh, we have our uh, this gap over here, so we can we can add some plants here as well. So let's go to nature. I think. Uh, I will use this one and I will make it like a, a line here. That looks pretty good, maybe a little bit more dense, too much, something like that. Let's check how it looks. That looks pretty good, it's just we need to lower them down a little bit. So let's select all of them and move them vertically. Something like that. Let's check it out. That looks very good. So because we are building an autumn scene here, because we have our autumn presets, we would like to see some fallen leaves so let's go to nature again to leaves and let's scatter some leaves you need quite a lot of them because uh, uh, grass is uh, doesn't allow to, to to see them that good so place quite a, quite a lot of them here and here a little bit Think that should be good and then some fallen leaves leaves on the road itself that should be nice and some here I think that should be good let's check it out that looks great now we can add some spotlights on our uh, on our lamps here let's put this one this one it doesn't want to go somehow okay let's let's uh, copy copy the light this one and the rest one we have uh, these uh, strips so the, uh, that we could uh, we could place some plants here as well 
uh, I think I will place this box boxwood scale it to fit and just make a strip here and here as well I think that's good let's check what we have that looks pretty nice I think I think it's time for us to uh, load up our preset so load effect list and so after uh, after loading the presets uh, you can see all of them here you just need to correct them and fit your scene better so I can see that the the sky positioning isn't good so let's go to real skies and adjust the heading think something like this you can always play with different kind of uh, skies as well maybe this one looks even better actually and let's adjust a little bit yes I think that looks pretty good we need to adjust our shadows because I think it's it needs some brightening up. That's good. Let's go to color correction as well and uh, maybe give give some gamma correction. That's that looks fine, and I think we have. A little bit too much of uh, yellowish uh, autumn colors here so I'm going to reduce that by a little bit and maybe color shift a little bit less that looks better and uh, we need to to place a reflections so let's go to reflections and active some planes because we have a wet uh, road we need to place a reflection on the road also and all the windows we can see so that should be okay so that looks that looks pretty nice already what else we can add I think I, I would like to blur these uh, plants over here so let's go to depth of field and adjust the distance so that looks that looks good so now we have uh, our foreground plants blurred what else we can do is we can add uh, volumetric lights for these uh, posts so just turn them on and it will give this kind of uh, light flare effect I think I would like to reduce some raindrops so let's go to precipitation and uh, reduce the particle quantity so we'll make it less just just a few of them would be enough you know it's just it would feel like it's after rain a little bit so that looks that looks good we have our bloom we can we can play with yeah I think I think uh, I think our render is is looking pretty good. I would like maybe to reduce some color on windows. So let's take this material and uh, let's reduce the transparency, the brightness. This is already black, 
and reflectivity a little bit. Let's check how it looks. I just want to to be it a little bit darker. I think that looks pretty good. I think we can add maybe a human somewhere. Let's go to people. And I like I like to use these static people because they have uh, a better quality. So I have I have this guy with an umbrella. It would fit the scene perfectly. Let's place him here. Let's check it out. That looks much better. What else we can add? There's there's these effects and uh, there's these leaves. So we can add this like fall and leave leaves effect. These are two two red. I think these will be good. Yeah, these middle ones will be good. And just add them somewhere in the tree so it will it would look like they are falling now adjust the wind direction something like that and we need adjust the amount it should be just few leaves you know so we'll see let's see how it looks so our scene is almost done i think i think we can make uh, some adjustments with the sky so let's go to real sky let's try different uh, types of skies let's try this one Maybe we would like to see some clouds in the sky because it's uh, it's after rain, you know. So maybe this one would be the best choice, actually. We can see there's some reflections on the roof. Uh, I think they're. There's too much reflection, so I'm going to decrease the reflectivity on that material. Let's check how it looks now. I think it's a little bit better now. Let's try this one. This one looks pretty nice has some clouds but uh, it still gives a little bit of uh, flare I think we can we, we will choose this one it has a lot of a lot of nice features What if we would go like this? Yeah, I think I think this this will uh, what this will work for us. And now I would uh, would like to adjust a little bit color temperature. I'm not entirely happy with autumn colors yet, so let's let's try to work something with them. I think I'm gonna select these uh, bushes and then try to to make the color manually. It's some kind of brownish color, so 
I will uh, select that on layer 2 and then try and adjust the color maybe maybe let's give it a little bit of reddish color let's see how it looks now I think that's much nicer and also for these plants I'm going to change color as well so let's select these ones and I will apply them to layer 3 and now let's give it some color let's see what, what our options is yeah, I, think, I think this might be okay now It looks nice, it looks nice now. And I think I think we are good to go. We can make a render for us. So here you go. We have finished our autumn scene in less than 20 minutes. Uh, you can find these uh, presets in different kind of websites. You can find them on Lumion forums. Uh, you can buy them very cheaply on CG Trader. Um, there will be a link in the description below uh, if you want to check that out. I hope you liked it and uh, I'll see you soon.